Hi guys, welcome to CRFR TV. Today we're going to be talking about SOG communications and how to talk on a radio. I am so good looking. Did you notice that? No, it's just didn't. me noticing that. Alright, so our first bullet point we're going to talk about today is how to copy a page. Alright, so you're on the bays and the page comes in and it sounds like this. And listen for the dispatch information. Now, depending on the page, once you copy it, dispatch Amazon 61 copy. It, that's your cue to run off to the appropriate apparatus and jump in it safely. Very safe. Run safely. Don't forget to wear your seatbelt. Now, when you get in the apparatus, it's imperative that uh, you do not call in route until you are in the vehicle moving outside of the bays. That's cheating. How you call in route to dispatch? Dispatch Amazon 61's in route. Next, you will be arriving on scene to your destination of the page. Dispatch Amazon 61 on scene. In the area. So if you get a call and you're dispatched to say the 84 westbound I-74 a vehicle accident and you're in the area at the 84 but you don't, but you don't see anything. So you can call dispatch and say in the Copy is used to, uh, you know, say like, yeah, I heard what's going on. Right? Ambulance 41, did you copy my traffic? I did. I copied your copy. What did you just say copy on the radio? Copy. <laughs> if you are canceled by a apparatus, that means you're canceled. Ambulance 41, you can cancel. So that means you can go back to, you know, chilling in your recliner. <laughs> Alright, if say Battalion 40 says, um, Ambulance 61, can you respond to merging? That means turn your woo woos on. on. Yeah. So if you're going to go to the hospital, this is the only time you say on the radio whether it's emergent. Ambulance 41, we're emergent to the hospital. Do not say emergent with two on board or one patient or two patients and three patients. Dispatch doesn't care. So use uh, just Ambulance 41 en route to Valley View Hospital emergent. Got it? True story. Uh, if you're asked to upgrade to emergent, if you're on scene, you have the second new apparatus, which is coming not emergent, and you get on scene and you go, holy cow, this guy's not doing well. T-52, I'm going to need you to upgrade. We need to cut. You go over the radio and say, engine 43, can you upgrade to emergent? So anytime that you have emergency traffic that you need to air over the radio, first thing you're going to do is request emergency traffic. This applies to Mayday specifically, but really any emergency traffic that is very important that everyone hears. The term clear, so if you say Ambulance 41 is clear, that is letting dispatch know that you're available from the call, but you're telling everybody else in our district that you are not ready for another call. Yes. Uh, so if you run a, let's say you run a core and you're at the hospital and you used all of your equipment on the ambulance. It's gone. It's gone. And you need to restock, you would come on and say uh, dispatch Ambulance 41, we're clear. Everyone on shift that knows that you guys are not able to handle another call and you need to go restock. All right, the word available. When you're done with the call and you're ready to respond to another call, you're going to use the term available. So you are done from the call, you just say Ambulance 41 available. That easy. All right, available on scene. It should be used if you are, let's say, on an EMS call and you've written the refusal and you're just kind of there hanging out, um, just maybe helping somebody make a sandwich, or you know, you're just kind of doing some stuff, some PR stuff or some uh, babysitting. Babysitting, essentially. You can tell dispatch that you're available on scene, which means if we get another call in your district, you can leave that call right away and respond. True. Got it. On the air, this is something you put over a tact channel, a tactical channel, and you put it on and let everybody else know that you took a specific apparatus out to do something, something responsible. and um, organization oriented, official business type of stuff. All right, next, the new term that has taken uh, CRF by storm. So when you're going back in quarters on TAC 6, you should say Angles 41 back in house. Engine 64 back in house. It's kind of cool to call our fire houses houses. CRF are okay. This is something that we use when we get a PAR check, which is a personal accountability report. They will say something like, CRFR on scene 10 minutes where they might use your command name and you're just going to come back over the dispatch channel CRFR okay that's telling them that you're not dead or in distress or something like that. Or a couple more definitions the next definition is called hailing it's just to contact an apparatus via radio or personnel via radio. The next is a command channel a command channel is the main channel for communications that's the one we use to talk to dispatch dispatch only not operations 
Should I talk to you on a command channel? No, you shouldn't. Oh. When we use tactics, like telling people to go put that fire out on the Alpha Bravo side, can you go grab that hose for me? Could you get some iced tea? Or get the cock? Get the cock. <laughs> Make sure to ask them to get the cock on the operations channel. When we get into the next year of our TV, we'll talk about command channels and, and operations channels and how to operate on those channels. These are just the definitions. Operations channel would be like Fire Attack 6 or Fire Ops, which is going to be the new channel soon, or ATAC 95. Now here's a question. Is an operations channel and a tactical channel the same thing? Ooh, that's a good question. Lyman. That's a hard question. What do you think? Okay, the answer to that question is... Yes. Yes. All right, simplex channel. On our radios, uh, we will be using, utilizing a simplex channel. I have two simplex channels that will be in the first bank, the simplex 5 and 8 tac 95. They'll be located in channel positions 15 and 16 on your radio. If you're watching this in September, currently 8 tac 95 is the last channel in your banks on channel 16. 8 tac 95 has a special new uh, way of communicating on it. Instead of the old way where there wasn't any beeps to let you know you were talking on it, now there is a way to signal that you are talking on it. An incident, that's when services are requested or rendered by us and arrived at the hospital. So anytime you're arriving at Valley View or Grand River Hospital, you will contact dispatch and say, uh, dispatch, ambulance 41 is arrived at the hospital. Okay, so follow on the SOGs, we're going to look at the procedure part of the SOG and the communication, radio communications SOG. Uh, the representative for CRFR is me, so if you have any questions on that, you can contact me. Tim. I have a question. And uh, I can help you answer that, or um, I can try to get that answer from Garfield County. Good answer. All radio communication shall be broadcast in a professional manner. That means no swearing. We still like very funny command names when they are appropriate. All radios and any communication traffic should be used for just departmental use only. Um, here's a big key point that I want you to key on. All radio traffic should be specific and to the point. So please, no dissertations on the radio. We're going down, number three, radio usage, right? So whenever you do something, you go somewhere, or you get somewhere, you have to let dispatch know. So we talked about, you know, going to the hospital, getting to the hospital, going to scene, getting on scene. For those specific transmissions, you don't have to hail dispatch. Do you remember what hailing means? Yes. How do you hail somebody? Churchill, Lavin. Lavin, go ahead. Or dispatch battalion 40. Battalion 40, go ahead. That's hailing. You don't have to do that for these specific communications. So you would do something more like this. Dispatch Ambulance 41 is en route. Copy. Quick side note, if you are in Glenwood and you are helping Glenwood fire out because you're on a mutual aid incident or you're staging at Station 2 and you get paged to either Hanging Lake or the Canyon, you must contact CDOT Hanging Lake Tunnel, tell them who you are and why you're going out there in the Canyon. That's it. Communicating with the hospital. This is another one of those that we'll cover on another SOG day that has to do with medical stuff like that. Our EMS coordinator would like us to communicate with the hospital via 800 megahertz radio and let them know that you're coming on, coming into the hospital with their patient. Okay? Uh, so please do that with Valley View Hospital or uh, Grand River. If you are going to pa pass on a patient's name, uh, stuff like that, I would call the hospital via uh, cell phone or landline. All right, if you're on scene and you need to get contact somebody that uh, needs you to bring you something or you're trying to get a hold of that certain individual, we use last names. No longer we use numbers. It's kind of confusing. Even if it's a chief on scene or a lieutenant on scene, please use their last names, last names only. I would go Churchill, Lavin. Lavin, go ahead. That easy. Even if Chief Morgan's on scene, Go Morgan Lavin. Simplistic last names, that's what helps with communication. What if somebody has the same last name? Oh, that's right, because we have two Smiths on the department and two Glassmans. Oh. And you would say Churchill, Tyler Glassman. Oh. That's it. Okay, last but uh, not least is call signs. Call signs for the apparatuses are very simplistic. Engines, ambulances, tenders, call it what it is, call it what station's coming out of. If there are two apparatuses at a station, so there's two ambulances out of station 41. The first one would be ambulance 41. The second one would be ambulance 241. Same thing with engines, tenders, rush trucks. So if you need to reference any of these SOGs that we're going over, they're all going to be available for you on Atlantic in the file storage. So at the top bar, just go look for it. It's very easy. Or you can call us. No big deal. Peace out. Putting this in there.
Yes, these radios are waterproof. for outer space. <laughs> Let it catch. <laughs> yeah.